Just looking at Thursday's deals, which one will have the biggest impact in your opinion? I think it's got to be Nerlens Noel moving to the Mavericks, and it's a case where the Sixers were in a position for months, if not years, where they were going to have to move one of these big men that they drafted. And for a long time, it looked like Jaleel Okafor was going to be that guy, a post threat who could fit on a, p a bunch of different teams potentially. But Noel, who's the more valuable player in a lot of respects, a really good defender, a guy who was never really allowed to thrive in Philadelphia the way he might in Dallas, ended up being the guy moved, and for very little. Basically, Justin Anderson, who's an okay wing prospect who didn't really amount to anything in Dallas and a first round pick that's not going to convey as a first round pick at all. It's going to turn out most likely to be two second round picks uh, going from Dallas to Philadelphia. So this is a great get for the Mavericks and, and really part of an ongoing effort to get pieces together for when Dirk Nowitzki does retire. So now they have Harrison Barnes, they have Noel, they have the start of something that they can build towards a competitive future. Yeah, I mean, it seems like their plan for post Dirk Nowitzki is not going to involve a full tank. I mean, not having to go totally into the toilet to try to get a top pick. Uh, where else do you see this plan going, and how are they positioning themselves for life after Dirk? Yeah, that's always been the idea, even going back to, you know, when they were talking to DeAndre Jordan in free agency and, and nearly got him to commit, and Chandler Parsons, and they did sign Wesley Matthews. That group, the idea was that you were going to have that transitionary era coming out of Dirk's final years. Now it's Harrison Barnes, it's Nerlens Noel, it's guys like Seth Curry, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, who's come into the lineup and could be, you know, even just like a role player for them. And for Dallas, that's a big deal. Just having guys you can put on the books, you can pencil in for rotation spots who aren't 30-plus. And that's going to put them in a really good spot. And, and Noel is the kind of piece, too, where, you know, they're going to push for this eighth seed a little bit. They're still a competitive team. Noel compliments Nowitzki well. He compliments Barnes well. He doesn't do anything to take away from the fact that this team wants to remain competitive now. But ultimately, he, he's 22, almost 23 years old. He's only going to get better. And he's a guy who, in Philadelphia, we saw, when you give him anything to work off of, when you give him a real point guard to play off of, when you give him real spacing so that he can finish inside, I think he's a better offensive player than a lot of people think.